We're so quick to declare who the best in the league is, as if no other player even comes close. Nikola Jokic, with his basketball IQ beyond anyone else, is often hailed as the best. Heard this before? Yet, he's sitting at home. The days where one player reigns for multiple seasons, I believe, are long gone. Nikola Jokic is undoubtedly one of the best players in the league, but with so much parity, you can't unequivocally say that that one is leaps and bounds ahead of another. The NBA championship will crown a new best in the league, at least for the time being. One team has taken a cakewalk to the NBA Finals in a conference where every single top player on each team got hurt before or during the series. This allowed both the Pacers and the Celtics to meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Pacers were a light pack. At any point during their run, had the opposing team had both their primary or secondary option, I don't think they would make it out of the first round. Sorry, just stating facts. On the other side of the bracket, a far superior team the best in the league, in fact, the Boston Celtics also faced off against two teams or more than one of their better players were hurt. Miami was without Jimmy Butler and Terry Rozier. The Cavs were without Donovan Mitchell and Jared Allen. This made their road to the Eastern Conference Finals a breeze. But once they made it to the dance, before the dance, they got more injury luck when Tyrese Halliburton went down with an injury as well making a Boston sweep basically cemented. This puts Jason Tatum's name in for the hat trick. Best player in the game, best team, and NBA champion. But let's take it to the West first. A conference not riddled with injuries, and as a result, far more competitive. Any team that emerges from this conference will be battle-tested and prepared for the big names. A conference with many contenders for best in show, Starting with the holder of this title going into these playoffs, Nikola Jokic. They continue their ownership of the Lakers, handing them a gentleman's sweep. While Jokic puppeteered play and leaned on Murray for late game heroics. But when the team is built specifically to dethrone you and the best player's competitive nature is superior, your run at the top ends early. And that's what happened when the Nuggets met the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards, fresh off putting his foot on the Suns' throat, did not relent against the defending champs and battled the Nuggets, defeating them in seven games. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket lived two high-performance scorers, Luka Doncic and SGA. Once Zion went down and Brandon Ingram was locked up by someone a foot smaller and became a no-show, the youngest team in the league advanced past the Pelicans. In the other series, Luka Magic continued to have the Clippers number, a team that lacks the real desire to win, either played by injuries or praise. Led by Luka, no doubt, but anchored by a veteran who is the most skilled player in the game, who held it down when called upon, was Kyrie Irving. The best closers in the playoffs handled business against both the Clippers and Oklahoma City Thunder in epic fashion. Carrying that same energy to the Western Conference Finals against the Timberwolves, who look to have poise but are being proven green, Luka and Kyrie have walked them down to have a, a stranglehold 3-0 series lead. At the time of my writing this, I expect Dallas to move to the finals to meet the Celtics, either in a clean sweep or in six games. This would make Kyrie Irving the most successful thus far out of the big three that never was in Brooklyn. Funny how things work out sometimes. But what it does is propel Luka Doncic, this year's scoring title winner, into the best in the game race. Stay tuned to find out more about this story by watching the video in the center. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. Peace.